Yeah, buddy. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Childish. We are back at it again. Um, getting to that channel update, getting into some of the unit update, and uh, looking forward to giving you guys some um, some insight as to what is going down. So, um, as you know, I've been um, uh, playing around with a couple different uh, series over the course of the last three months, trying to get a feel for what y'all like, and I've kind of narrowed it down to uh, looks like four to five uh, series that I want to kind of keep going and uh, you know see what you guys you know see how you guys feel about that and uh, you know keep it going so um, you know without further ado we kind of have to start where you know the channel got started which is my arena grinding series uh, as you guys know that was one of the first series I created um, just because I have a real real big passion for PvP not only in um, this game but all you know all games that I played so I wanted to kind of tune into that um, but of course I soon realized that uh, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't excel in PVP without putting in the time and the work as far as the PVE goes when it comes to, um, you know, giants and dragons or whatnot. So I, uh, you know, started uh, creating what I uh, call the critical thinking series, talking about various aspects in the game, both arena, dungeon, scenario play, to kind of, you know, give you guys that insight on my thoughts and theories based on my experience as well as some experience of um, quality players that I've uh, followed in the past. And uh, those two, you know, by far have done exceptionally well. Um, some of the, you know, other ones that I've done, um, you know, the Arena Remix. Um, we've done some, um, you know, Arena Showdowns, just kind of focusing on some some of the uh, top players in the game, you know, their setups and, and how we go about it. Um, and then, of course, the uh, Subscriber Showcase. So Subscriber Showcase um, is probably going to be the third one I'm going to go ahead and keep. That will be one uh, in which I basically find people that I know um, in the arena. Um, you know, it's been it's it was it's been a lot. Uh, how do I say? It's been pretty easy to you know, make these videos as I have people. I have them send me. You know, if they're not on my arena list and people are in my rank, I have them send me their friend requests, right? So, uh, you know, even if I don't have them on my friends list just then, I can add them real quick. You know, make the video for them. And uh, and then go ahead and you know remove and go back to the to the regular stuff. Um, you know one of the things that I kind of tried to branch out to to do on the side um, was the arena remix, which was basically uh, you know a way of allowing you know everybody and anybody to uh, give me the opportunity to showcase their units, uh, their runes, and go ahead and do some arena. Now, with the exception of one of my uh, subscribers, uh, Chid Hustle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, probably close this one out for the time being, um, just for the fact that my, uh, you know, channel, um, you know, my channel is growing, uh, my personal life is quote unquote growing. And, uh, so, you know, things are getting you know quite a bit busy. Um, and it's, it's just hard now to, you know, make the additional time, um, for everybody, um, you know, to do their arenas or whatnot. It'd be, um, it wouldn't be too bad if it was, you know. Uh, you know, just a quick few minute video, but as you guys know, arena videos never, never last, uh, you know, a quick few minutes right on this channel. So, um, yeah, we're going to be focusing basically, we'll still incorporate the summoning sessions. I, I'd love to do my summoning sessions with the guild. Um, you know, we're going to be utilizing uh, Skype a little bit more in the future. And so that'll be fun. I'm just kind of having everybody chat it up or whatnot. Um, since we can't get, we, we can't get everybody, um, you know, here locally uh, for so many sessions. Um, to be able to do that with Skype um, is good. Um, excuse me. So, uh, you know, with the addition of the latest and greatest series, Educate and Dominate, um, that is definitely, um, you know, without a doubt, have been the uh, the biggest uproar in the channel. Um, uh, I, again, I appreciate everybody's support. They really find it that great. So I want to kind of, um, you know, utilize both uh, that uh, you know, as well as a critical thinking series to kind of keep you guys educated. Um, and then, you know, utilize the, uh, you know, arena, um, guild wars and summoning sessions for the, you know, entertainment side of things. So hopefully you guys, um, enjoy those five series. Um, we'll kind of keep it close to that. Um, as far as, uh, underrated and overlooked talking about certain units and whatnot, as you guys know, I incorporate that now with the, um, arena, with the arena, uh, excuse me, the uh, Educate and Dominate series. So 
um, you know, I've kind of kind of hit on some of the units um, that I understand and know that I wanted to talk about that are farmable or whatnot. But obviously now um, getting a couple of people on the channel and getting their insight on it, I feel that, uh, you know, incorporating that within their interview is going to give you guys more more than I can, um, you know, uh, over the course of my time. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, with the channel update, I'm going to go into a little rune update. I know we got the rune removal day coming up here in a few days. Um, but uh, it's not uh, it's not without to say that I, I, I couldn't wait, right? You know, I'm, I think I had like 600, 700,000. And uh, <laughs> I still had to spend about half of that to make some changes. So, um, you know, again, and, it, and, it's, and it's funny because I, I want to show you guys this because, uh, you know, we, we get into this thought process where we, we, hear, we hear some insight on a particular topic and you know we're like oh yeah it sounds great but you know i'm just gonna do the way i you know i do it because uh you know that's that's the right way well you know i ain't gonna lie um every single one of my um uh uh interviews i've watched at least twice if not three times depending on the person or the topic and try to pick up on you know things that i can incorporate um you know into my thing and i will be the first testimonial um, you know, with regards to their knowledge that it has, you know, improved, um, you know, my arena and Guild Wars offense, defense, um, everything, everything. So, um, you know, right now, um, with regards to the units, um, you know, I've been able to, uh, clear, I've been fortunate enough to be able to clear, you know, Dragons B10 auto, Giants B10 auto, and, um, uh, Trial of Ascension normal. So, um, even though I, I would love to, you know, complete Trial of Ascension hard, I believe I'm not there. Uh, so my main goal is to, when we get into this, um, you know, rune removal and, you know, looking at units that I want to focus on, um, I'm going to be focusing on, um, you know, uh, prioritizing uh, my units, the runes for my units that um, will help me excel in the arena offense, arena defense, and uh, Guild Wars uh, defense. Um, obviously, there's going to be overlapping between Guild Wars and arena, you know, offense, defense, whatever, but... Um, arena defense for me even though it, it, it might be this might be a controversial topic here um i really 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 want to um you know be able to maintain uh, guardian one um you know be able to get the opportunity to uh you know uh, get the you know get the three star light and darkness um like a lot of people out there i feel that that's a really respectable um rank and uh, you know i i do feel that i can you know, make some changes for the better. I think it's going to work out really good. So I kind of want to showcase some of the changes that I made since the last unit update. Um, you know, normally I do these post room removal, but again, certain things need to be kind of mixed around. And we'll go ahead and talk about it. So as you guys know, when I first uh, made Veramos, I threw a swift set on him and I put about 205 speed, really, really strong in Dragon's B10 as he is was fast enough to keep up with the uh, dots and swift was definitely enough. But as you guys know, Violin is king when it comes to PvP, and I utilize him in my arena defense as the leader, like 99% of the people out there do now. So uh, I went ahead and switched him to Violent and Nemesis. Originally, it was a Violent Broken set, but I was fortunate enough to pick up this rune and get the uh, um, a little bit of speed on it. Um, I had a rune on there that had speed and hit points, but I uh, sacrificed 14% hit point um, to get... Um, basically a nemesis sit on there um the hit points uh you know obviously I'll, I'll be able to get that back when i when i max out their skill or whatnot to keep them at about 25 26k but uh you know for right now i'm very very happy with where i am uh, i kind of want to push in that 175 range um right now 165 i feel that 175 for the violent set is very very strong uh, at least for my level right now i conquer three um so um I'm going to continue to work on that obviously a nice you know end goal would be to have you know a violent set with about 200 speed but uh you know that's that's uh, definitely end game so um, when i was making looking at all these changes that i can make um you know i had a speed hit point hit point set on chandra and i was trying to figure out how can i get a violent set on Veramos, um and you know because i had no more violent based rooms Right, and I could have used the random set, but I knew that I wanted to, you know, get incorporate violent nemesis as well. As you guys saw in a previous video, I was fortunate enough to find a, I think it was a hero based room um, that had the initial three stats: defense, accuracy, and crit rate. And I was fortunate enough to get the 
first three bonuses to go to um, crit rate. So I said to myself, okay, why don't I go ahead and you know play around with um, you know the crit damage rune from Rogue and this hit point rune and see if we can um, you know switch out the speed and hit point rune that I originally had and see how he did you know with regards to his stats. So I was able to keep the 38, 37, 38k and able to get his crit rate um, at a respectable level. Um, you know, and, with a, and I believe this crit damage is also respectable too, uh, considering uh, you know he's generally a, a tanky kind of bruiser kind of style. So um, that being said, I did you know obviously lose about 35, um, you know 36 speed. I was at plus 60, down to plus 24. So I'm looking forward to uh, removal to see if there's anything I can do to basically get about 10 to 15 more stats. Uh, trying to get all my arena defense units to about plus 40 speed, you know, in that 140, 150 speed range, and, you know, maintain more or less these same stats, so. Uh, but I ain't gonna lie, you know, if I don't get that speed right away, I'm I'm, I'm very, very uh, happy with where I am um, when it comes to this unit. Um, definitely, uh, you know, I, I, it, feels, it feels good to finally have a unit to be proud of. Um, you know, we, we all got a few units, but, to, you know, to set up a unit to where you've got you know, good runes on it, and, and, and it you know hangs you know hangs with your your fellow uh, summoners, your friends, or whatnot. It feels really good, so I'm super excited about that. Utilizing that um, with the various arena um, you know offense units now. Um, and then the last but not least, uh, the change on Darian. Um, he had a violent rune on on this one, and then a, a revenge rune here. Uh, had a 19% bonus on hit points. With like five speed, um, recently got this today um, in Dragon V10, and uh, and uh, and then I had this revenge route for a while with the plus speed. I've been wanting to incorporate this for quite some time, but I didn't want to get rid of um, the rune that I had here um, because I had you know a little bit of speed and some great hit points and resistance and whatnot. It was good. Um, that being said, um, I feel that the 15% drop in hit points, um, you know, was negligible if that's the right word i might be failing right there but i feel that the opportunity to put 13 plus 15 speed on here was uh, great and the original room that i had here was plus five so it's not really plus 15 speed it would have been like plus 10 speed but um, you guys know what i'm saying i'm trying to get his speed to about 140 and i was able to accomplish that 141 so i'm super excited uh, to get back on with the conquer three after this reset and uh give it a go um there's really no other change when it comes to my arena defense. I will do the quick showcase on Hua because not a video goes by where somebody randomly says, what are you using on your Hua? Um, I, I, again, speed, attack, attack with a swift set. Um, I value the damage that I can get um, with this first skill. Um, so I utilize a speed, attack, attack. Um, I do have some crit damage runes that I can throw in here. Um, but I've done some, you know, initial testing for a few rounds, a few arena days, and uh, I haven't been able to generate um, the same amount of DPS or more than the DPS that I can do um, with a, uh, with, with, you know, with a crit damage rune versus the attack rune. I generally do about the same DPS. My hardest hitting attack um, with both skills on a defense broken neutral or win unit is 24k. Um, and if, uh, you know, sometimes I double attack that, sometimes I don't, but, um, um, you know, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this round, uh, especially that since that, you know, the, you know, every crit damage run I put, I, I lose a little bit of speed because this one comes with some speed stats. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. You know, no real big updates. I have a lot of exciting plans for their rune removal. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm super excited to kind of showcase, so we'll play around with it, but I'm going to be um, basically taking this despair stat, putting it back on uh, Clara. To utilize her with a little bit more crit damage, you know, throw her in the mix with Corona and some of the other units um, that have high crit rate, high crit damage to play around with her. Um, we'll get we'll get him on a, uh, a Rage Blade set. Um, I need some more uh, speed on this guy, um, just overall speed. He's just too slow in, in my arena offense that generally is you know relatively fast. So I'm gonna you know kind of hold back for him for now. Try to find a Swift Blade set. Where I can still do the attack crit damage attack, um, but to, you know just basically get that you know bonus, you know 25 speed or, or 30 speed from the from the runes that I have plus uh, the uh, set bonus. So 
Um, those are going to be some of the bigger changes. We'll kind of get into that. We'll be, um, you know, obviously six star in a few units. We got Luir, we got Jubel that we're working on. Um, but of course, that'll come, you know, in the future. So um, that's it, guys. I'll give you guys an update again when we get done with the uh, rune removal um, at the end of the week. But until that time, guys, it's your boy Childish for Childish Place checking out. Take care. We will see you next time. I'm out.